Hey everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today, NVIDIA just pushed a new version of the NVIDIA app. It's currently in beta, so I'm going to put the link on my video description. You have a new feature called the Automatic Overclock. So it's a pretty cool feature. You can overclock your GPU in one click uh, without any safety issue. And also, you're keeping your warranty on your GPU. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So you need to go to System and and in the performance over there, you will see your statistics. So you, you have your GPU clock, GPU power, draw, uh, temperature and stuff like that. So everything will be there. By default, this one will be in gray. So if you want to do the automatic tuning, you need to click on it. And it will scan your computer for like 15 to 20 minutes normally. And it will apply automatically a GPU turning over there. So for your core and a VRAM tuning for your VRAM. So this is uh, the, the, the one that you're seeing right now. I modify like some stuff with the power maximum. So I'm going to show you by default normally what you will see. So normally your voltage will be at zero because uh, zero mean automatic. So NVIDIA just manage your voltage. Power maximum will be at 100%. Temperature target, I was at uh, 84 on my RTX 4090, so I'm not sure if it's all GPU card. And um, the fan speed target will be uh, at automatic. With the, those parameters, I got 106 megahertz on the uh, core GPU and the 200 uh, megahertz on the VRAM. So pretty small, honestly, uh, overclock. And this one was really surprised for me because... Now I try to put my power maximum at 133, uh, temperature target at 88, and I put the fan speed at manual locked at 70%. So I thought like the algorithm will be more aggressive for my overclocking, but I still got 200 for the VRAM and 89 megahertz for the GPU tuning. And I want to mention... I overclock my GPU by myself with the MSI Afterburner and also I do a lot of different benchmark to make sure it's stable and normally I can get over there 280 megahertz for the GPU tuning and 1500 for the VRAM tuning so as you can see it's pretty pretty safe the way they overclock it for now. So my recommendation, if you don't know how to do it, do it, you're not a power user, just left everything by default like this and just activate the uh, automatic tuning over there. Make sure that it's running like the 15, 20 minute and you will gain like a couple of FPS with it. I'm pretty sure they're going to improve the algorithm in the future. So this is pretty much it. So if you have any question about the automatic overclocking, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your GPU, uh, what kind of GPU, also the model. So if you have like an Asus or whatever, also maybe post me your share, your overclocking with your card. So I want to know if you're getting better result than me. And uh, yeah, if you have any question, I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.